Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 113 and we are going to talk about that we should never stop learning and we should never stop learning in context of emotional intelligence. Daniel Goleman is the person who came up with this idea of emotional intelligence and he talked about five basic ingredients of emotional intelligence and they are going to be self-awareness, self-control, empathy, motivation and social intelligence. When we talk about all these aspects in association with our developmental perspective related to our leadership, remember that emotional intelligence is basically helping us to improve our performance under pressure. Emotional intelligence is basically helping us to enable us sustain our leadership perspective and using our IQ in a rightful manner. Thirdly, Emotional intelligence can also be learned and improved with the passage of time so that we can have a better connection and relationship with our stakeholders. Now remember that emotional intelligence can be improved with three important things and these are information, guidance and support. When we talk about information, information related to the limitations and the strengths associated with us. We should be informed that what are the positivities, what are the perspectives in which we have to operate. Second important thing is, when we talk about guidance, we need to have the developmental plans. Or apne specific developmental plans ko sahi tor lekar chalne ke liye, we need to have the guidance. The third important thing is, that we need to have the support as well. Because us support ke baghair, leader alone might not be able to succeed. So, in difficult situations, the leader needs to have the right support. Now, when we are talking about emotional intelligence, remember, as I told you, Daniel Goldman is talking about five major ingredients. And in those five major ingredients, the most important are self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, motivation, social skill, and we are going to talk about all these things in bit detail. When we talk about self-awareness, Remember that is the basic definition is that knowing one's emotions and strengths, weaknesses and drives, values and goals and their impact on others. So these are the major important things we need to have the self-awareness about. And the hallmarks we have to measure that self-awareness is either being created or not. They are that either we are going to have self-confidence, we are going to have realistic self-assessment, we are going to have self-deprecating sense of humor and obviously the thirst for constructive criticism because all these things are going to be the hallmarks to find out either you have achieved your social or self-awareness or not. When we talk about self-regulation, the basic definition we have is controlling or redirecting disruptive emotions and impulses. And the hallmarks we have to get to this point of self-regulation, they are trustworthiness, integrity, comfort with ambiguity and change. So these are the things which we require to find out that either we are going to have self-regulation or not. Then the other three important components in social intelligence are motivation and when we define motivation, it says being driven to achieve for the sake of achievement. किसी चीज को हासिल करने के लिए जो आप जिदो जहद वहां पर कर रहे हो तो उसमें आपकी मोटिवेशन वो पाई जाती है जब आप उस चीज के हसूल के लिए उसी के लगन में उसी को फोकस करके आप उस चीज को हासिल करना चाहते हो तो इसके जो हार्मार्क्स वैल्यूज हमें दी गईं एंड दे आर अ पैशन फॉर वर्क इटसेल्फ एंड फॉर न्यू चैलेंजेस अनफ्लैगिंग एनर्जी टू इंप्रूव एंड ऑप्टिमिज्म इन द फेस ऑफ फेलियर Likewise, जब हम empathy को discuss करेंगे, which is a very important uh, component in social intelligence, इसकी basic definition है considering others' feelings, especially when making decisions. So कोई भी फैसला करने के दौरान, you have to put yourself in others' shoe. तभी आप जान पाएंगे कि दूसरे लोग क्या feel करते हैं, क्यों feel करते हैं, कैसे feel करते हैं. और इसकी जो हमारे पास hallmark values हैं, they are that expertise in attracting and retaining talent, ability to develop others. And sensitivity to cross cultural differences. ये तमाम वो हाल हाल मार्क्स हैं जिससे कि हम एम्पथी को इंश्योर वो कर सकते हैं. Likewise, जब हम सोशल स्किल की बात करेंगे, तो इसकी बेसिक डेफिनेशन है मैनेजिंग रिलेशनशिप्स टू मूव इन डिजायर्ड डायरेक्शन. 
कि हमारे जितने भी स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं उनके साथ जो हमारा 360 डिग्री एसोसिएशन है उन रिलेशन को उन कनेक्शन को हम बेहतर से बेहतर करने की और स्ट्रॉगर बनाने की कोशिश वो करें इसके जो मयरिंग हाल मार्क्स हैं दे आर इफेक्टिवनेस इन लीडिंग चेंज परसुएसिवनेस एक्सटेंसिव नेटवर्किंग एंड ऑब्वियसली एक्सपर्टीज इन बिल्डिंग एंड लीडिंग टीम्स Dear students, we have just gone through the five components, their definitions, and their hallmark values, and we have seen that these five are so important for our emotional intelligence to ensure we can do it. Dear students, we have gone through the five components of emotional intelligence, their definitions, and the hallmarks, and we have seen that these five aspects are so important for our emotional intelligence to ensure and develop. If we conclude all these things. So remember, the leader needs to be self-aware. The leader needs to be, have self-control. The leader needs to have motivation, right, full empathy, and obviously social intelligence. Because in के बगैर followers के साथ उसकी association and connection वो ज़्यादा strong establish नहीं हो पाएगी.